Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kat. So today we are going to be altering this cute little like shadow box shaker that I bought from the 99 cent store. I thought it was really cute and I've been loving making shadow boxes and I thought it was really cute the way it incorporated it into a little shaker. So we're gonna go ahead and alter this. I think it's cute as it is, but I want to add my own background, my own sequence in there, and I can always save the sequence and repurpose it for another project. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started with that. I'm going to fast forward through my process, but talk to you um, throughout it in a voiceover, so that way you're aware of that. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start off, I'm going to remove this little backing piece. It was really easy to remove it because they use double-sided adhesive tape. And I j removed it really gently just in case I needed it, but I didn't have to use it in the end. And just remove that little adhesive tape that was left on there. And then I'm going to go in and lift those little metal prongs or whatever they are that holds the little wood piece on the back. And they're really easy to remove. You can use the back of a, um, some scissors or, or a... I don't, some tool to remove them but they're really easy with your fingers and then I remove this little backing piece that's kind of like a poster material so this is the cute little cacti and heart but I'm going to use something else keeping it so I can measure my paper I'm using a tray so I can save all the sequins it's really pretty but I don't like the color all together in here I want to use a different mix that I have made beforehand I'm using a microfiber uh, towel so I can go ahead and dust it remove anything that needs to be removed because it's going to be placed in there permanently once I seal it in the back so just removing any fingerprints any dust any little bits that needs to be cleaned out What's really cool is that they have foam in here already. You can see it in there and that's what secures the sequins from falling out. So really neat. Definitely pick up these frames if you can from your 99 cent store. Mine only had one. If they had more, I would have picked up more. The paper that I'm using is from Main Squeeze and I got that one from Tuesday morning. I picked out those really cute little heart ones with the little faces. I'm using my paper trimmer to trim this to the correct size using the original picture from the frame. I mean, oh my gosh, look how cute it already looks with the main squeeze paper. I already love how it's turning out. And I'm gonna be using some foam squares to adhere these cute little foxes that are from Pebbles that I recently hauled from Tuesday morning as well. And I think they're so cute, such a cute little couple. I'm gonna be putting some foam squares behind there and I'm using two layers. These, these scissors are from Teresa Collins and they're amazing. No sticky residues left behind. They're made specifically for that. And I also picked them up for from Tuesday morning, such great finds. So again, I'm double layering and I'm also gonna be doing the same thing with the sentiment and also with the little brads. Before I adhere anything down, I want to make sure the placement is in the correct spot. So I'm putting the paper back in and seeing where the little sentiment on the glass lies. So I can place the love right in the perfect position. So it's going to say love, hugs, and kisses. And then I'm going to adhere everybody else according to that sentiment. Look how cute it looks. Oh my gosh. I definitely love that I altered this. It's so, so cute and it works all perfectly together. I think it just needs one more thing. So I ended up making this little flower bunch and I'm adhering it on there, making sure that it's going to fit into my frame really well. I had already measured that beforehand and it just adds another texture, another layer of cuteness. And then I will add my sequence in there. One thing I did notice was that the flowers were a little two-dimensional, but once I added the frame, that was no problem at all. 
And then I'm going to be choosing a sequence, and the sequence that I'm using is one that my friend April sent me, April Lander. Hi, April. And then I'm going to add just a few more little pinks in there, and just want to make sure that if you're adding flowers on there, make sure they're all off to one side. As you can see here, I kind of just leave them all together, but I go in off camera and put them to one side where the flowers are not there, otherwise they'll just get stuck. And here it is. It's so stinking cute. I really love how this turned out. Definitely a big difference than just the little cacti that I originally had and then those kind of purpley pink colored sequins. I really, really loved how it turned out. I'm going to keep an eye out to see if my 99 cent store puts out more of these frames because they're so cute and really awesome to make some shadow um, shaker boxes. So definitely check out your 99 cent store and see if you can find some. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!